Uhadi, go away, a rallying cry sustained for over two weeks, amplified by one of the biggest crowds Minsk has ever seen. Demonstrators repeated their demand for new elections, angry at thousands of arrests, many bloody beatings and several deaths. I'm shocked by these lies and violence that reign in our country. I have three children and three grandchildren. I want them to live in a free country, to have freedom to express their opinions and have great life prospects. The Opposition Coordination Council is demanding a peaceful transition of power. Our resistance is a marathon. The regime cannot deal with this marathon, but we can. We have the will, strength and the support of each other. We've appealed to the Belarusian High Court to recognize the numerous violations in the sham election. And we hope, no, we demand that the High Court makes a legal ruling. Security forces held back on Sunday, but the army has been mobilized, supposedly to protect national monuments. Hovering over the crowds, the man who says he's above all criticism. President Alexander Lukashenko shows no sign he's moved by the sight of his people. Once on the ground, Lukashenko brandishes a gun. He says he's ready to trigger another crackdown if opponents refuse to accept his victory. Across the border, Lithuanians show their solidarity with the protesters, forming a human chain, just as they did more than 30 years ago during their own Baltic Revolution. Many Belarusians are now hoping for a similar peaceful and democratic outcome. These were extraordinary scenes here in Minsk yesterday. Two to three hundred thousand people out on the streets of the Belarusian capital, even more than on last Sunday's march, which in itself was one of the biggest in modern Belarusian history. I think there had been fears that people would lose steam, lose momentum, that given how unclear uh, the progression now is, people would stop coming out. But it seems like those government threats to arrest protesters had the opposite effect and brought people out uh, in big groups with their children, with their pets, um, no real sense of fear, a sense perhaps that the numbers are just too big for the government to put everyone in jail. As for where this goes now, there is no roadmap. It's not clear what will happen next. Lukashenko is still ignoring the opposition and refusing offers of dialogue. But for now, people seem convinced that these will go on and that they are showing no sign of giving up.